Welcome to Doc's Daily Dose for Dads, prescribed by Dr. Harrison. Yesterday, the wife and I went on a little outing. We headed over to the California Science Center Natural History Museum, and we went to check out the King Tut exhibit. Um, really cool stuff. Like, I don't want to knock it. It was really cool. I took a ton of great pictures. A little disappointing. I don't know. I, I just expected something a little more grand, something a little more uh, spectacular. Um, but that's... I mean, that's because of the King Tut mania that pop culture made King Tut for a long time. But in the grand scheme of things, it was absolutely fascinating. And the most fascinating part about that was the history. And it got me thinking about history with respect to our families. And what I came up with and what I decided after mulling it over for a while and thinking about what was this bringing up, what was this stirring up for me, is that history is not just about things in the past. When it comes to family, history is about past, present, and future. Now, here's what I mean. I Let's, let's take the, the past, right? Um, my grandmother picked cotton. Like, no shit, she picked cotton. That was her, she was part of the sharecroppers. Like, that's what she did every single day out in the fields while raising 11 children. She couldn't read or write. She signed my dad's birth certificate with an X, right? Um, so America has made some great advancements socially, culturally, uh, in terms of social justice as well. But remembering that that's my grandmother who raised me for the first four parts or four years of my life, that reminds me that like it wasn't that long ago that things were different, that my family had to endure certain things. And it just keeps things in perspective of, how thankful I need to be, how thankful my children need to be that we weren't living in the situation my dad grew up in or my mom grew up in, right? Also, my dad, I recorded a 27, 28 episode podcast with him, which I'm going to re-release one day, but telling the story and his journey, and man, it is crazy. But understanding his past and how our family migrated to California through the prison system helped me really understand him as a father, him as a human being him as a man, right? And let me adjust my journey and my perspective on how I'm maneuvering through the world. So that's the past part. Present part, I kind of past and present. I grew up black and Hispanic. I didn't find out until last year the Hispanic side is non-existent. My grandpa, mom's dad, isn't really mom's dad. It's some Italian dude. So actually I'm black and Italian, right? But that has changed what our family history is with respect to that side, that lineage. And quite frankly, we can't really go back any further than my grandmother on my dad's side who was picking cotton. There's just no documentation. But on my mom's dad's side with the Italian, Italian immigrant, we can trace that pretty far. And going back to be able to trace that to give to my children so they understand where they come from would be excellent. And on my wife's side, the Peruvian and Colombian side, they've got all kinds of documentation of their family. But presently, it also makes me think about how everything I do with my kids, the family barbecues, the vacations, the trips, the outings, the bringing family around us, that's creating current history. And that's creating a foundation for them when they get older to try to ensure to do the same things. There's so often now that you see families just split. As soon as the kid is old enough to go off to college and get their job, everyone just goes and does their own thing and only comes back for Thanksgiving or Christmas. That should be at least a once a month occurrence where you're getting the family together, having a barbecue, having a hangout. Now, I know there are some family members you can't stand. That's OK. That's part of family. Not everybody's going to get along. But at the end of the day, we're still family and it's all we got. And then that made me think about future. Well, what precedent am I setting with respect to going back and finding my history? documenting my current history and sharing a different narrative with my children and bringing family around, what does that do for the future? It gives them information to share with their children and their grandchildren about the history of our family. It gives them the foundation and the behavior of bringing the rest of the family together no matter what as I get older, as I'm you know, granddad or great granddad and I'm not the one organizing these things anymore. Hopefully they're still putting these things together and the family is growing and getting bigger and extending, right? It's, it's a fascinating thing if you think about history with respect to past, present and future and how it's all interconnected. And that's what King Tut did for me, 
That was the best thing about the exhibit is it got me thinking about that. So what I'm going to do with respect to history and my kids and my family is one, maybe dig a little deeper, see if we can find some more documentation past my grandma on my dad's side and follow my mom's uh, parents' side with Italian immigrant. And I'm not really sure where, where my Nana comes from, right? So gathering more information, maybe that's Ancestry.com or 23andMe or whatever that is. Maybe I do that, who knows? I'm still kind of iffy on that, even though I know the government probably has all of my fingerprints and blood and DNA and all that anyways. But continuing to gather that documentation. On the present, continuing to do videos like this, storing certain historical things that are, are, have a sentimental value, um, maybe even an economic value for my children for when they move forward and they get older and I, you know, leave this earth. And then instilling in my kids that when they become older, no matter what happens or where you guys go, bring the family back together. Bring them back together. Because friends come and go, jobs come and go, co-workers, boyfriends and girlfriends come and go, hell, even wives and husbands come and go nowadays. But family, that's forever. No matter what. Whether you like it or not, it's not going anywhere. So my suggestion to you is embrace it. Embrace all the history that comes with it in past, present, and future terms. That's Doc's Daily Dose for Dads. Don't forget to hashtag Doc's Daily Dose for Dads. Hashtag 4D. All social media at RebirthBX. Check out the website, RebirthBX.com. Apple Podcasts. We will play music for the audio version of this. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, Doc's Daily Dose for Dads. There's a subscribe button right over here if you want to see my ugly mug on camera here. And um, I will get back to you guys tomorrow with some more thoughts. Talk to you soon.